Good morning, folks. I'm Dan. Out in the shop again today on the 701 project for at least a few minutes this morning. I've taken my rudder pedals and powder coated them. I'd originally painted the um, cabin frame, the control stick, the rudder pedals, and that type of thing. Um, and I'd spray painted those early on. And the rudder pedals were one of the first things I built. Um, since then, of course, I've set up powder coat capabilities here in the shop. So I've been powder coating a lot of stuff. So I went back yesterday, sandblasted the rudder pedals and um, the toe brakes, and went ahead and powder coated them. Did a couple of things. Gave me a better finish on them or a better coating on them so they'll stand up better. Um, match the um, landing gear mounts, which I'd previously powder coated, and um, also gave me an opportunity to go back and reevaluate the work I did on those welds and that type of thing. And I was perfectly happy with them. So basically I sandblasted them and then went back and powder coated them. So here's what they look like now that they're powder coated and I've got a still shot of what they looked like before. So they're all powder coated up here. I'm going to gather up the um, brake cylinders and the pins and cotter pins that hold the toe brakes together and everything. And I'm going to go ahead and reassemble those. I'm probably not going to put them in the plane quite yet. I think now that I've got them out, I'm going to go back and powder coat the uh, yoke assembly and anything else I've got that's any of the other controls that are small enough that will fit in my oven that I haven't coated already. I'm going to go ahead and do those. Um, but I think while I've got those things out, I'm going to go ahead and paint the inside of the cabin area, the floor and the, the upper side panels up towards the back of the firewall. And the seat area and probably the baggage compartment. Alright, here's our, this is relatively simple, all we have to do is reassemble everything. That's the way they fit together. It's just like that. So that's one more thing done. One more step in the process. Okay, well as I continue to powder coat control parts, why I've uh, I'm making a little adjustment, and all of my forward fuselage controls are done. I'm just going back and repowder coating what I can. The control yoke. I wasn't real happy with the position of it. So the pivot points on it that weld on right here, I've actually changed those about a quarter of an inch. I've moved them down, moved the bottom of the stick up rather than building a whole new stick and that's going to work out fine. But I thought I'd show how I fixtured that up. I went ahead and just quick simple fixture is all it is. I've taken a 2 by 4 like this. Let me move this down here so we've got a little bit better view of the table. Taking a 2x4 like this, and I set the yoke up. I've got a quarter inch hole here drilled, so this sets down in there, and it sets all the way in. It's a tight fit, so I'm not going to shove it back in there. But I set it in there, and it's in the position that it was with these tabs on it, and set it up in the drill press, and I just ran a 3 16 bit, made sure everything was aligned, put a 3 16 bit down through it, and dimpled where it originally where that point actually was to start with. Then what I did is I took this portion back out, so I still just had a flat 2x4 is all I had. I didn't have this piece attached. And moved the 2x4 up to the distance that I wanted to move that control surface, or that, that hole for that tab, which in effect is going to move the whole um, yoke assembly up. Then what I did is I went ahead and drilled that 3 16 all the way through, so it accepts a piece of 3 16 inch ready rod. And there again, it was a tight fit too. So I set it down in there. Before I did that, why I had this down in position, and I just took a piece of 3 quarter inch plywood, got my alignment where I wanted it, and then I 
Brad nailed it to the back side. So that gives me a stop. So the way it actually sits in there is it jigs up just like that. Then what I did is I set the tabs on, put the assembly piece in, and put my 3 16 ready rod down through that. So that aligned everything, held everything in alignment, positioned it correctly. And I went ahead and tacked this side. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull that back out. And we'll reset everything and I'll have to manually index it flat up. And then we'll tack the other side. Then I can go back and finish weld that. So quick little tip on a jig, didn't take me but five minutes to make and, and nothing to material. So you can do that when you initially build them. It gives you good alignment positions too. So hopefully that'll help you a little bit. Here's the last four pieces of the control surfaces for the cabin area that need to be powder coated. I've already sandblasted them down, they need to be blown off and then I'll powder coat them. Uh, I've already fitted them back into the fuselage, I've made sure that all the clearances are where I want them and everything looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and get these powder coated and this portion will be done. Alright, here are the last of my pieces out of the powder coat oven. They are ready to be reassembled in the plane. and. Now I can probably start doing final hookups, uh, nylock nuts on everything, proper, proper length bolts and all of that stuff as we put them in. Before I reassemble these into the fuselage, I'm hoping that I've got a, at least a couple of warm days here yet before winter really hits. I would like to get a little bit of paint on the inside of the cabin. I'm just going to probably put some white paint inside. It'll probably just be an enamel. Um, just to kind of give that a, a finished look and then I can go ahead and reinstall these and when we go ahead and get ready to install carpet and whatever else we're going to put in the cabin why that portion of it's done and I don't have to worry about disassembling everything to to do it so anyway that uh, kind of concludes this if you find these videos helpful why consider subscribing and give me a thumbs up and if you hit the bell notification you'll know when I put out a new video and I hope it helps you with your build and thanks for taking the time to watch